Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make sauerkraut. Uh, when your garden gives you tons of these cabbages, you got to do something with them, and I can't eat them all. So there's two ways you can do this. Do it by hand with the knife, or if you have one of those uh, robo coops, you can shred it. But I like doing it by hand because I went to cook in school, so it's a lot easier. So I've cleaned the outside leaves off. They've been in my fridge for three or four weeks now because I've been so busy, I haven't had time to it. get to it. Uh, what you'll need is a bowl to put your cabbage in, pickling salt, tablespoon, and I do mine in mason jars. You can do them in a crock if you have a crock pot, but I don't have a crock to do it in, so this is the way I do it. And actually, I should show you how it looks when it's finished. So, that's the finished product here in the jar. I've probably made three or four of these already this year. So, what you want to do is save probably two outside leaves for each jar, because once you get the cabbage in, you're just going to pop it on top, just to keep the air out and keep it pressed underneath the liquid. So there's for one, I'll use another one here for the other. It doesn't matter if you wreck it up, because you just I usually fold them in half anyways and put them all in. I gave the cabbages a quick wash too beforehand. Probably still a little bit of dirt in there, but it's all good. So you want to core these guys up, slice them in half, slice them in half again. And then I just take the core right down here. And I think I've been doing about three pounds of cabbage per tablespoon, or sorry, teaspoon of cooking salt. Um, basically, this bowl, pretty much full, equals what I need. And you don't want it too thick, so you know about eight inch thick on your cabbage there. Another reason I don't like to use the RoboCoop is because it's more dishes to wash, and I don't like doing dishes. So I'm probably not going to use them all because my bowl is pretty much full now. So I'm just going to finish up these last few ones here. These guys, side, maybe I'll make cold slaw with these guys for dinner. So I'll move this out of the way here. So that's normally about the amount I do. So last time I made this, um, last year, I used way too much salt and it was way too salty. I couldn't even eat it, I had to throw it out. So recipe that I've figured out now, basically a tablespoon of pickling salt, you just toss it on. You can always taste it too, if it doesn't taste salty enough, you can probably add a bit more. So what you want to do is put the salt in and you want to start massaging your cabbage with the salt. You want to start getting some of the liquids out, make it nice and soft. And what happens is the cabbage starts to break down and it'll get smaller in your bowl here. So you, this can take up to 5-10 minutes to get it down. And then once you've got it broken down to the nice smaller pieces there. You're going to let it sit probably for about an hour in the bowl. That's usually what I do. And then I put it into the mason jars and pack it in nice and tight. And 
And as you're doing it, you're circling the liquid coming out of the cabbage as well. So if I bring it up, no, not quite there. Getting close though. I may need a little bit more salt in there, but we'll see what happens in a minute here. And as you can see already, it's already broken down quite a bit. So I'm just going to taste a bit here. No, nope, I think there's enough salt in there. Nothing worse than having too much salt and then you can't eat it. So I won't bore you with watching me do this till I'm done. When I get to the state I want to show you guys, I'll show you guys that part. Okay, so here we go. It's uh, broken down nicely. The cabbage has started going tra translucent a bit. And if you squeeze it here, you get straight in some liquids out. So that's a good state there that you want it at. So what I'll do, I'm just going to let this sit now for about an hour. And then I'll come back and we'll put it in the mason jars and get it ready to ferment. So the last one I did, I let it ferment for seven days. Um, but I've read that you can start eating after three days, but it's still not fully uh, broken down or not sauerkraut-y. So I think the longer you leave it, the more sauerkraut it gets. So I'm just going to pack this down while I wait for it. So it does its thing. Okay, so we'll wait an hour and come back and we'll finish up. Okay, so it's been about an hour now. So, you can grab your mason jars, your leaves. As well, I like to use a tamperer. This is for my Vitamix. So when you put the cabbage in, you can just really pound it in there, get nice and tight. So, this is what it's looking like now. Right, we're gonna squeeze it. Lots of liquid's coming off, which is what you want. So, I'll slowly start filling my jars up here. And it usually does about two mason jars to the one lead, two of the one liter jars. So once you get fairly full, just take your tamper, pack it in. You want to pack it really tight too, so that the liquid covers it all. It's kind of messy, but I'm sure if you had a funnel of some sort with a big bulk on it, you could use that as well. So once you start push tampering it down, you can start seeing some of the liquid coming up as well. So there's some liquids in the bottom, so I'm going to just squeeze it in there, get it right in. I usually leave just a bit of room at the top so you can fit your leaf on top. Your cabbage leaf there to give it a bit of space. So we'll do that one there. That one's good. Pack it a bit more. And as it sits and ferments over the next few days too, you'll, you'll get more liquid off it. Sometimes you'll have to spoon some of it off, some of it off or sometimes when you go low to check it. You'll notice that you've had liquids overflowing. I've got some liquids in the bottom here. Just gonna dump it in. I've just got a bit of cabbage in here, so I'll see if I can't get this stuff packed in. Okay, I'm making a mess everywhere. I'm not the neatest person when it comes to doing this kind of stuff, but whatever. So there you go, you can see lots of liquid in this one now. So what I'm going to do is take my cabbage leaf, fold it over. 
just going to pack it right in just to make sure that's covering everything. And this one I have to put the last bit in. There we go, lots of liquid there. Same with this one. Get my cabbage leaf right in there. And then I'll be right back. I gotta clean that up and then get a little bit of a paper towel and elastic band for the top here. So here we go, a nice close up of it so you can see it packed in nice and tightly. And you can see the liquid up on top here. So there we go. I've got my elastic bands and paper towel right there. Put it on top. And then what you want to do is put it in a dark closet. I let mine go for seven days. And then try it after seven days if it tastes good, stick it in the fridge. So I just wipe the tops down nicely. Make sure you get all the stuff off. You want to do the elastic band and paper towel or cloth, whatever you have. Wrap it on top just so that you don't get the fruit flies in there when it starts fermenting. And you'll know it's fermenting when you start seeing the bubbles float coming up um, as it's activating, doing its thing. And it's really good probiotics and sauerkraut. So there you go, two jars of sauerkraut ready. And when it's done, it'll look like the jar I showed you at the start of the video. So there you go. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. And make sure when you subscribe, you hit the little bell at the bottom beside the subscribe button so that you get updates when I post new videos.